Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install leather corners on your cabinet, Mesa Boogie style leather corners. So um, this is useful if you're building a cabinet like I am and want to copy their designs or if you're replacing a corner because it got damaged, um, it's pretty easy to do. So obviously you'll need your cabinet. You'll need leather corners. I ordered these from Mesa Boogie's website. You can get them in a couple different colors. They're like 35 cents a piece. You'll need some tacks. Again, you can also order tacks from Mesa Boogie's website and they'll look better. They'll be black and really round on the, the ends and stuff. These I just got from Home Depot. It was cheaper for me to do that. Um, and they ended up working, working pretty good. So you'll need some tacks, a hammer, a hammer I'm down with. Uh, a drill is kind of optional because my tacks are so big I like to pre-drill the holes. It's just a cheap Harbor Freight drill. And then a bit a little smaller than the size of your tack. Um, a cup with uh, hot water or warm water in it and some time. So let's do this. So first things first, take your leather corners in some warm water and I'm going to do four so just drop them in there and we're going to just wait a couple minutes. So once your, um, your leather corners are kind of pliable, easier to work with, just, um, just dry them off. And then we're going to kind of position the tacks where we want them. So we'll get our tacks, and you can look at, you can reference Mesa Boogie stuff. I kind of know where I about want to put them right now, but they can go towards the edge. And I'm just going to get them in place. So you can see that one. We'll do the others. Just get them pre-tacked into the leather. And they can stick out a little bit on the ends. So now once you have your pre-tacked leather corner, I recommend starting on um, the bottom of your cabinet and the back. So if you make a mistake, um, it's not going to be super visible. Um, so the, again, this is the bottom of my cabinet. Here's the seam. It's started to separate because I let this sit too long. Anyway, um, so I'm starting on the back bottom and you want to, they're going to go this way. So they're not totally symmetrical or whatever you call that kind of triangle, equal something. I don't know. Um, you want this end on the back side, not on the, you know, top side. So line it up should be centered and the edge of the corner should um, come very close to where where the edge of your of your corner is and once you have it about where you want it take your hammer and tap it in there we're not tapping it all the way because I'm I gotta drill this just make a starting hole so once you've got this end of the corner tacked in enough to where it just kinda holds this in place not all the way then we're gonna, again, while this is still kind of malleable, we're gonna pull it back while still keeping it kind of centered. And you're gonna kind of stretch the leather a little bit. Um, and then stretch the, the nail or the tack as well. And once you've got it stretched, then you can kind of take it in place and tack this one as well. So hopefully you can see how this is now kind of stretched. It will stretch, it's, you know, it's a little pliable. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And you wanna kind of get rid of this, like, this gap as much as possible. So that's why we're stretching it to try to get rid of that. So I'll do this one. Now I've still got that, that thing there, so I'm actually gonna pull this one out. And you can kind of redo these if you, if you need to and they will shrink as they dry so if your leather doesn't lay all the way down it's not the end of the world so once you have those you've marked where the, the things are gonna go you can see the holes then you can pull it off if you're drilling it like I am I'm just drilling it to keep the the wood from splitting so once you've done that then we'll use the drill so now we're going to take the drill with your bit slightly smaller than the size of your tack and 
you're just gonna drill out those holes a little bit. So we'll do that. Working around the camera here. And the last one. I'll have to do that off camera. So now that the holes are drilled out, the tack will can tack all the way into place. So again, start with this one. Okay, so that one's all the way in place. And now we can go to these pre-drilled holes and and tack them into place. That's pretty much all there is to it. Let me show you close up. So you'll notice some gaps like right there. It's not quite laying flush and you know all the way. You can get better at, at working the corners but honestly like I said the um, once this leather dries because we've we've had it soaking in water for just a couple minutes once it dries it shrinks. So those those holes are places where it's lifted up they will they'll go away and it'll start to look really good so that's pretty much all there is to it I'll do the rest of the cabinet and then show you the finished product here's one more little tip if you're a cheapskate like me and don't want to buy Mesa Boogie tacks the the normal tacks let's see so we've got that point on it and depending on the length of your tack you can see how if you hammer that in it may get in the way of your back plate or your your baffle or anything like that so um, be careful about what length of tack you get and if they're too long like this and you run into problems like me um, I just filed down the end of a tack so it doesn't quite poke all the way through here's one more view of the entire process just so you guys can see what's going on angles a little closer. Thank you. 
So this is what it should look like when you're done. You can see we've got the, uh, the tacks all in place. Corners are laid down. Now the, um, the leather on these are still a little bit wet. So you can see like right there, for example, it's not quite sitting down all the way there too. Um, but this is a cabinet that I did a few weeks ago with the corners fully dry and you'll notice that this one looks really good. There's nothing, um, there's no gaps there. So um, after these corners dry on this one, it'll look just like that. So don't worry if they don't look totally 100% perfect. Um, when they dry, they'll shrink and they'll look a lot better. And uh, even on some of Mesa Boogie's stuff, you'll notice that uh, occasionally they will have a little bit of a gap. So um, it's, it's pretty normal. Um, if you, uh, if you want to make them look even better than this, obviously you can use the Mesa Boogie branded, or I don't know if they're branded tacks. They're black, smaller. Um, you won't see them as, you know, like these are silver, so you kind of see them. So you can use those if you want to have it look even better. I didn't bother to go that route. I just decided to save a few dollars. And, um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, I am not an expert cabinet maker. This is kind of my first experiment with this kind of stuff. I'm handy with a few tools, and so I decided to give it a shot. Um, so this is all just my opinion. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I found out that this is the way that works for me. So when I was getting ready to do this, I didn't see any other information or videos about this online. So I decided to shoot a little quick video, maybe help some of you guys out if you're looking at doing this. So uh, enjoy and I'll see you later.